Hi guys, uh, so this is my update on that Jurassic World Lego mock based on the first Jurassic World film. This is based on the second Jurassic World film being Fallen Kingdom. Now of course we got, let's start off with the dinosaurs we use here. Most of the dinosaurs I used for this set are actually quite hard to find nowadays. Uh, none of them are from the newest Jurassic World Dominion sets. I'll be getting those this Sunday in my country. Let's go over through. So here we have the Jurassic Park Velociraptor, which was found, which came out with the 2018 line, with the Fallen Kingdom 2018 line, sorry. Here's the T-Rex. Now this is counted as the first Technically Jurassic Park T-Rex as the TT game Jurassic Lego Jurassic World use this model for the Jurassic Park T-Rex. So yeah, I have the 2015 T-Rex here. The 2015 Pteranodon slash 2018 Pteranodons here based on some lava brick uh, something like I made lava ash making him floating up. Sorry. And here we have a very old Pteranodon being from the 2012 Dino line, being uh, the dirt, dirty version of the Pteranodon, uh, I mean the dirty skin colors. And down here, uh, if you can see, if I'm not wrong, the name for it was, I always called this a Compsignathus. I know it's bigger than a Compsignathus, I just call it that. From the Dino 2012 line also. These are my only 2012 dinosaurs I have. And also, over here we have a Stiggy Moloch from, if I'm not wrong, the 2020 line. And also we have Owen Grady with a knife running from the volcano. Where this one is... Is the one with the t-shirt damage from the Carnotaurus set. And also, I uh, have broken parts of Gyros... Uh, where is it? Ah, there. Gyrosphere parts all over. And also, because in the first scene where we see Owen Grady running away from the uh, lava... We see the old Jurassic Park Jeep, which uh, I always thought that was the scene from the original Jurassic Park, where uh, Alan, Alan Grant, uh, Tim, and Lex Murphy uh, were trying to get down from the uh, t uh, Ford Explorer. So unfortunately, because the newest Dominion set uh, line hasn't come out yet with that new Ford Explorer for the Jurassic Park set hasn't come out yet. I used one uh, the tail of a 2020 set. Oh no, 2019 set. Wow, that's a long time. Being this uh, abomination uh, from the Legends of Isla Nubla TV show. Uh, because I always thought, uh, I think it was, I didn't watch the show so I don't know, uh, that this was made by the parts of the Ford Explorers. So that's why I had the idea of using the tail as that part. Also, uh, the cracked gyrosphere is meant to replicate that one scene where the Carnotaurus was going to attack the humans, but then they managed to get into the gyrosphere, while Owen did manage to get in, and then the T-Rex managed to save him just in time. So also, I placed some grass blocks, and you can't see it here, but the, that, there are lava bricks down there, like below the T-Rex. I don't know why I thought of that. But yeah, uh, overall, very nice set. I'll tell you which sets you need to get these in. So if you want to replicate uh, these, uh, you need the 2015, uh, I don't know what it was, but it was the T-Rex the set. The only set the T-Rex came in. The 2018 Jurassic Park set. Unfortunately, I the Jurassic 
well, Fallen Kingdom sets. I still think you can get them at a reasonable price, but I think the 2015 T-Rex, the Dino 2012 Pteranodon, and uh, I call it Comsignifers, are hard to come by nowadays. Also, I uh, used a 4 plus set from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, which came with this uh, structure. Sorry, I know the base is sand. Uh, yeah. Also, uh, this came uh, with also another Legends of the Isle set, which came with that Robot T-Rex set. I call it Robot T-Rex. So yeah, if you don't have these dinosaurs, I don't worry, I have different solutions for you. Now, for the T-Rex, we have, for now, until Sunday, I'll do an update for Sunday, uh, we have... The Legend of the Isle version of the T-Rex, which I actually like the most out of all the T-Rex so far. Until Jurassic World Dominion comes out. The one set that comes with the uh, Trociraptor. I love that version. And then we have the one odd set from Fallen Kingdom that didn't come out with the rest of the wave being this. Which I actually think looks more accurate to the t this T-Rex. This one does look more accurate. What are the, for the, if you don't have the Gallimimus, what other dinosaurs can you use? Well, you can use the 2018 Stiggy Moloch. But I think it's more easier to get the Gallimimus because I went to a, a Lego store the other day and I still saw that they still sell the sets that this came in. I forgot what it was. It was like a weird tank or something. If you don't even have a T-Rex, you can use the Carnotaurus from the 2018 line. Being a normal, nice looking Carnotaur. Or Toro from the latest line. Being the easiest one to grab your hands on right now. Uh, what are the dinosaurs? Or even the... Legends of the Isles, Baryonyx, or where is it? Ah, oh, there we go. Camp Cretaceous, uh, Grim or Limbo. I don't know which one this is. I really don't watch uh, Camp Cretaceous that much. Uh, so yeah, for the Velociraptor, uh, I have different solutions also. Unfortunately, there's only really like three different Velociraptors right now you can use. Uh, I don't own all of the Velociraptors. I didn't buy the 2018 4 Plus set that came with that. And also, I didn't buy the Legend of the Isles 4 Plus set that came with a blue Velocir generic Velociraptor. But I do have, uh, you can use, I don't know why you would use, but the Lego Movie Velociraptors. There's two different versions of the Velociraptors, but I can't find the other one. Uh, 2018 Blue, being nice design for its time. Or the last one being the 2015 Blue. I would, uh, if you're crazy and you would like to, you can use uh, Charlie. Delta or Echo, but it wouldn't make sense because by this time they're unfortunately dead. Yeah. Okay, now the Pteranodons. There's two more options from the latest lines because the. I always call that the Jurassic Park Tree Pteranodon, even though it's not. It's just I, I always fought as a young kid. But that's the generic Jurassic World one. You could get use the 20. 18 Fallen Kingdom one, which came in a small mini set. Let me see. Ah, yeah, there we go. Uh, which came with this. I forgot what truck this was. Uh, 2712. That's the set number. I forgot what. Uh, or, if you have the Gallimimus, you would have this green Pteranodon. Now, I don't like this one at all. It's not nice at all. But I do love the newest uh, Quetzalcoatlus and also the newest uh, blue Pteranodon because, uh, come on, nothing can go wrong with a Pteranodon. Also, 
things you can improve this set upon if you don't like my design and you want you think oh this is this set doesn't contain that much dinosaurs we need more dinosaurs you can add also baby triceratops let me see if i can find it oh, yeah, there we go. baby dinosaurs which i actually did not add to this set at all because if you look in jurassic world fallen kingdom there were absolutely no baby dinosaurs at all, except for Calm Signaphus. So I don't know why Jurassic World gave us baby dinosaurs. Camera close, focus. Okay, never mind. You you understand the drift. Uh, why they gave us baby dinosaurs when the most sensible option would be actually giving us Calm Signaphus. I only think that they made baby dinosaurs for the Jurassic World Dominion line because that makes a bit more sense even though they only appear in one set if I'm not wrong other than Polybag. Or you can use Bumpy from uh, The Legend of the Isles surprisingly and also uh, Camp Cretaceous the 4 plus set. Yeah, yeah for some reason this came in a 2020 set, which was part of the Legends of the Isles wave. I count, I count those sets from 2020, such as so, because they gave us an Indominus Rex. I don't know why. So anyways, this is just a short preview of my Fallen Kingdom mark, and how you can improve upon it, if you want. I would suggest adding more water. I don't suggest adding water plates, actually. Uh, more lava, basically. Because if you look in this set, the one key element of Fallen Kingdom is lava in Isla Nubla. And unfortunately, I didn't add that much of that. So yeah, what's wrong with me? I have no idea. I'm a crazy person sometimes. Uh, yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this part 2 review on Jurassic World Lego Marks. Uh, next time, I will be reviewing each and every set of the Jurassic World Dominion sets. I don't think I will be buying the Ford Explorer set yet. I don't have enough money for all 10 sets, but I have enough for 9 of the 10 of the sets. So yeah, until next time, uh, thumbs uh, like the video, subscribe, and I hope you have a nice day. Enjoy!